It is Memorial Day and tonight we are highlighting local ceremonies and gatherings honoring those who have served our country. Stacy. And after a nice couple of days, the weather roller coaster continues. I'll give you all the details in my first alert weather forecast. And the search continues tonight for a driver who allegedly ran away from this early morning crash in Kennewick. We're tracking that investigation coming up. This is Apple Valley News Now at 5 on your side. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Alyssa Warner. And I'm Austin Reed. In Richland this morning at Sunset Gardens, more than 1,000 flags were set up ahead of the morning's Memorial Day ceremony. Now, this was the 52nd Avenue of flags to pay tribute to local veterans who have passed away. Riley Fitzgerald spoke with General Manager Pat Hollick about what brings this event together. It's a very positive, uplifting event. I think that's what's great about it. People typically look at cemeteries as maybe being kind of a somber place, but this day of the year, it's not. It's, it's very happy and everybody's attitude's just upbeat. It's great. So it's uh, 1,150 flags. So we have 50 to, uh, well, it's probably more like 100 volunteers that come out. And it takes about three hours. We start at five o'clock in the morning, put them up. We're usually done by eight. I think that's what's significant to our event compared to others is that the name of the veterans on the flag, it's actually their flag that was presented to the family. So it carries special meaning and you see families come out year after year and stand next to that flag and take a picture. It's a Kodak moment for those people old enough to remember what Kodak is. There's a parachuter that's going to jump first. That's how the program starts right at 11. He carries a 1,500 square foot American flag with him. Um, so it's spectacular. If you've never seen it, you got to come out and see it. Um, and then there's um, some singing. Obviously, we do um, we do taps and um, tribute to the fallen warrior and a placement of a wreath. So we, we include the uh, military portion of that. And if you come out and you miss the program, I always tell people just come to the pro uh, property, drive through it, make a big loop and look at the flags because it's amazing. Now that was Riley Fitzgerald reporting. Hollick says bagpipes are playing tonight, right now, then at 6 and 7 again this evening. If you missed the ceremony, cemetery officials say those flags will be up until 7 tomorrow morning. Well, a day of remembrance and honoring those who served in the city of Pasco this Monday morning. The city honored Memorial Day with their annual Memorial Day event at City View Cemetery. It started at 11 a.m. The event consisted of various live music, such as God Bless the USA, performed by Vicki Evans to start off the event, along with a Pledge of Allegiance, a veteran's wreath presentation, and a moment of silence. U.S. State Senator for the 8th Legislative District that represents Kennewick, Pasco, and Richland says that when it comes to Memorial Day, it's all about remembering. We have the values of our country for a reason. We have the freedoms and liberties for a reason, and this is what it comes back to. I think this is the greatest holiday we should have in the world, and it's not about picnics. It's not about going on the boat, not about going out and barbecue and all this stuff. It's about the family and friends who are hurting, but their sacrifice should never be forgotten. Also at this morning's event, there was a flag raising ceremony where that's when each flag was raised, each branch's anthem played as well. In Kennewick this morning, Riverview Heights Cemetery and Mueller's Tri-Cities hosted ceremonies to honor those who have served. People started showing up at around 8.30 a.m. at Riverview Heights Cemetery. VFW Post 5785 welcomed the crowd after a call to colors and the Pledge of Allegiance. Post Chaplain Art King introduced Senator Perry Dozier, who gave an emotional speech. The Columbia River Young Marines held their salute to the fallen soldier. That was followed by a dedication to the missing man table at Mueller's on 10th and Union. You see, heroes come in all different uniforms. The one that I have the deepest respect for is those who wear our military uniforms. You sacrifice yourself for our nation. No questions asked. The ceremony at Mueller's wrapped up with the placement of the wreaths and a comrade roll call with a few more guest speakers. Well, the Sunnyside community came together this morning to honor those who fought and died for our country. Dozens oh, gathered at the Lower Valley Memorial Gardens in Sunnyside to pay their respects. As American Legion Post 73 members read off the names of those in their community who died at war and those veterans who died at home in the past year, honoring sacrifices made by men and women in the name of freedom. 
It is so important for us to take a few minutes each year to uh, get together and celebrate the commitment they made uh, for us. Now coming up, we're talking about how you can honor those veterans still living. That is tonight at 6. Now we've seen some years where the weather has not always cooperated for these ceremonies. Really beautiful out there this morning. though. It sure was. Stacy Lee joining us with a first look at your forecast. Hi there. Hi there. Well, we've had two good days in a row weather wise. So yes, things are looking good. I've been sitting here watching everyone out on the boats on the river. A little jealous just saying 81 degrees. Winds are light this evening at three miles per hour. Our sunset tonight at 837. A lot of people were commenting how much warmer it felt today than even yesterday. And look at this right now. It's 14 degrees warmer in Clee Elum than it was just 24 hours ago. 10 degrees warmer in Yakima. Six in the Tri Cities, 10 to 12. That's going to be changing over the next couple of days. Here comes that uh, temperature roller coaster that we've been on. We're going to drop down into those 60s and 70s again on Wednesday and then gradually make our way back to the 80s. Temperatures for tonight will be pretty pleasant, cloudy though, and a few storms possible, mainly in the foothills or south of Pendleton this evening. We'll be tracking that pretty closely. So increasing clouds tonight, stray showers and thunderstorms, breezy to gusty winds. Unfortunately, those come back tomorrow and Wednesday, and then we're going to have much cooler temperatures, a good 10 to 15 degrees below the average on Wednesday. I'll get to all those details in your first alert full weather forecast. Austin, Alyssa. Okay, Stacy, thank you. Memorial Day traffic was caught by surprise on the border of Kennewick and Richland earlier this afternoon. That's because a serious crash and vehicle fire shut down the northbound side of Columbia Center Boulevard at Yellowstone Avenue and all the way down to the east side Highway 240 on ramp. Kennewick and Richland emergency units showed up to put the fire out. According to police on the scene, at least two people were taken to a nearby hospital with unknown injuries. This eyewitness was one of the first people to call for help. So I got gas and I came up and around the, the loop there and happened to see flames. And when I was coming down the hill, I saw a car engulfed. And so I pulled over and called 911 and they got somebody out here. If I had to guess, I'd probably say the flames were probably about 50 to 75 feet in the air. Still no word on how this crash happened. Most of, if not the entire intersection, is back open now. Well, law enforcement is still looking for the person who they say ran from this crash on Clearwater Avenue in Kennewick early this morning. State Patrol says the driver of the Honda Accord was on Clearwater driving east when they ran a red light and got hit by a semi truck on State Route 395. Two passengers in the Honda had to be rushed to the hospital. Neither, State Patrol says, was wearing a seatbelt. The driver of the semi is not injured. Sunnyside first responders and healthcare workers had a scare on Sunday. Six people showed up to the ER to report they had possibly been exposed to radiation at a job site in Benton County. Astria Sunnyside Hospital staff escorted those people to an isolated spot in the parking lot. Sunnyside police cordoned off the area to minimize any possible exposure. Now, tests showed no harmful levels of hazardous materials, but first responders say if this happens in the future, the first step should be to call 911. R1 is again, stay where you're at, limit your exposure, uh, try and isolate yourself so you're not exposing anybody else or limiting that, um, and we will respond to you. Well, first responders say you should also tell dispatchers the status of the victim, how they were exposed, and what kind of radiation they may be dealing with. Memorial Day weekend is also typically the start of the summer travel season, and this year is expected to set new records. Jen Sullivan has a look at the travel trend nationwide. Millions of Americans are taking advantage of the long weekend to travel. We're leaving from Chicago to go to the Big Island in Hawaii. Air reports were packed Friday. Good day. TSA setting a record for most travelers screened in a single day. Nearly 3 million people at airports across the country went through security checkpoints. At larger airports like Newark Liberty International in New Jersey, they've been preparing for the hike in holiday travelers. Big weekend for us, uh, kind of the kickoff of summer travel. So we've been in preparation for several months. Passengers being warned to arrive early. Like one and a half hours. I'm like two hours early, which is not what I do. <laughs> uh, but because of the holiday, I felt that it was important to do so. AAA estimating more than 38 million Americans will hit the roads this Memorial Day weekend. A lot of folks have been putting off travel 
from the pandemic. And we've seen a really strong comeback in 2022, a really strong comeback in 2023, and even stronger in 2024. I'm Jen Sullivan reporting. And for those drivers here in Washington, we saw lots of traffic headed west across Snoqualmie Pass this afternoon. That is expected to calm down by later this evening. This weekend, the Tri-Cities Airport saw a glimpse of what's to come with summer traveling. Apple Valley News now went out to talk with airport officials, and they say, as expected with Memorial Day, there was an increase in travelers. With the increase, they say that there is a point where there's an increase in baggaging, but the airport had prepared for that increase. As they knew it was the start of summer traveling and going into the weekend, they say what helped everything go smooth was their communication with one another. Just good communication. We talk to each other. We let each other know if something's going to be kind of increased when it comes to baggage and stuff like that. Um, other than that, uh, we just follow our load procedures and make sure everything is safe and ready to go. This week, the airport also had an inspector go through the airport to ensure everything was up to code and airport officials say everything did go just fine. Well, drivers in Pasco might have to wait a little bit longer for the new and improved version of I-182 and Broadmoor Boulevard interchange to open up. That was initially supposed to open this week. WashDOT now says it's been delayed until further notice. Eventually, you won't see the stoplight at the I-182 and Broadmoor interchange. Instead, there will be two ramps. The one right now will only allow you to turn right onto southbound Broadmoor. And the new ramp will only allow you to go from I-182 to northbound Broadmoor. Crews are continuing to work at the Lineage Cold Warehouse fire near Finley. The blaze started April 21st and continues to smolder as demolition crews begin to tear it down. The demolition started last week and as it torn down and as it is torn down piece by piece, it will allow fire crews access to areas that are still burning. The Benton Franklin Health District is hosting a town hall meeting on Wednesday, May 29th, this Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. This is for anyone who has been affected by the fire at Lineage. Environmental experts and local health officials are expected to be on hand to discuss updates as well as how the air is being monitored for potential risks. The town hall will take place at Riverview High School in Kennewick. Well, we are enjoying some warmer weather for the holiday, but Stacey has been telling us it will not last long. The temperature roller coaster is back. We've got the details coming up in your first alert forecast. Poor maintenance, old tires, bad brakes. That could be why the big truck hit you. Hit by a big truck? I know how to be their insurance companies. I'm attorney Mariana Morales, the big truck heavy hit. Call 853-2222. Have you heard about Refractive Lens Exchange? K2 Vision RLE means no glasses, no contacts, and no readers permanently. And you'll never develop a cataract. No glasses or readers. K2 Vision RLE. With so much at stake, so much on the line, more Americans turn here than any other newscast. ABC News, World News Tonight with David Muir. America's number one most watched newscast across all of television. From real quality that starts in our factory to real performance in your backyard, steel tools are as tough and dependable as the people who use them. This Father's Day, give him the gift that's built for dad. Right now, save $350 on the RMA 510 battery lawnmower with the free extra AP300S battery and save $300 on the KMA 135 battery combo motor with the free extra AP300S battery. Real steel. Why is my internet slow? There's only 16 devices connected. I'm so over this. My cable internet bill just increased again. My upload speed is so bad, I can't even run a stream without buffering. Defeat cable lag. Switch to Zipply Fiber, America's fastest home internet. 25 times faster uploads. $65 less a month in cable. Zipply Fiber. Call 1-888-GO-ZIPLY or visit ZipplyFiber.com slash go -Zipply. Here comes the sun. Get moving with a new car from Overturf Kia. The new 2024 Kia Sportage gives you three great ways to save fuel. 
Available with fuel-efficient gas engine, a gas-electric hybrid, or as a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. A new 2024 Kia Sportage with all-wheel drive starts at just $30,990. Plus, get 1.9% interest for up to 48 months. Overturf Kia at the base of the Blue Bridge in Kennewick. Poor maintenance, old tires, bad brakes, that could be why the big truck hits you. Hit by a big truck? I know how to be their insurance companies. I'm attorney Mariana Morales, the big truck heavy hit. Call 853-2222. Honoring men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice. Welcome back. Hostage talks are set to resume this week between Israel and the Hamas terrorists to try to get back hostages taken during the Hamas attacks on October 7th. Over the weekend, an Israeli airstrike on Rafah is blamed for setting a refugee tent city on fire and killing dozens of Palestinians, including children. Israel's prime minister called that strike a tragic mistake. Now, Hamas has been demanding an immediate ceasefire for months now. Israel is demanding the unconditional return of hostages, and neither side appears willing to compromise. Here in the U.S., deadly storms continue to pummel the Midwest and the South. At least 18 people died after two dozen tornadoes just this weekend. ABC's Rena Roy is taking a look at the damage. Widespread damage in the South after deadly tornadoes ripped through multiple states. In Arkansas, at least eight people killed. You know, just wind and rain just pelting our, our house. And then uh, I knew I'd have a, at least a couple of trees down but I didn't realize that all my trees would be down. In the city of Rogers, east of Bentonville, power lines torn down, businesses and homes destroyed. Tried to make it to the hallway. That's the most central part of our house, and that's when we realized we didn't have a roof. In Marion County, similar scenes. We felt it hit the house and just felt it started sucking air up through the through the walls. In Johnson County, Illinois, you can see trees downed and neighborhoods damaged. The National Weather Service now surveying the area. In Kentucky, a state of emergency declared in multiple counties, tens of thousands without power after several tornadoes tore through. So far, we believe at least a few tornadoes touched down, including the one that we know was on the ground at least 40 miles. Texas also hit hard, an EF2 tornado striking Valley View about an hour north of Dallas. Winds gusting up to 135 miles per hour. ABC's Samara Theodore visiting this roadside gas station that was destroyed. It was here at this gas station where 60 to 80 people ran for their lives seeking shelter with one survivor describing this like a scene out of a movie. And now at least 70 million Americans up and down the East Coast are under threat for severe weather, including flooding, high winds, large hail, and even some potential tornadoes. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. And let's take a look outside. Things are pretty calm and clear tonight. A few clouds starting to move in, but looking good. Lots of sunshine, 81 degrees, warm. Tonight in Pasco, winds light at three miles per hour. Our sunset at 837. Weather pattern is changing this ridge of high pressure that keeps us warm and dry today. It's moving on out. Now we have a cold front that's going to start moving in tomorrow, bringing showers along the coast. Eventually, some of those making their way across the Cascade Mountains to our area. Again, very unsettled and unpredictable. Much cooler, breezy winds developing tomorrow and Wednesday behind that cold front. So we'll keep an eye on that. But don't worry, we have a ridge of high pressure that'll build later in the week, giving us warmer temperatures. On future cast, here's those clouds moving through and a couple of pop up, very undecided showers coming through tonight. You'll see some of those pop possible in Pendleton uh, east of Tri Cities overnight and most of that moving out by early morning. We'll start the day cloudy in the Columbia Basin and we'll start to see those showers move across the Cascades into the Kittitas Valley. Could see a few uh, pop up showers just outside of Walla Walla. We're keeping an eye on this area though tomorrow, uh, kind of like we had last week where we could see some thunderstorms building up tomorrow afternoon, which could bring cloud to ground lightning. Remember thunder roars head indoors in those areas. Wednesday looking clear other than we've got to deal with some gusty winds as this next front moves through the area. Winds will be coming from the west, so keep an eye on that for the next couple of days. Temperatures overnight tonight pretty mild. We're in the 
50s all through the region. 50 tonight, Ellensburg, 52 in the Yakima Valley, 56 in the Columbia Basin, 53 overnight in Pendleton. Temperature trend, we've been above average for the last couple of days. We're going to get closer to our average tomorrow uh, and Tuesday. Then look at Wednesday, we drop way down. We're almost 9 degrees below the average here and eventually back to the 80s by next weekend. In Walla Walla, 80 degrees for your high today, dropping to 78, a full 10 degrees on Wednesday, and then that gradual climb to those warmer temperatures. In Yakima, 80 degrees today, then dropping down to 68, nearly 10 degrees below the average, back to the 80s on Saturday. Tomorrow, look for mostly cloudy skies, showers possible, and those breezy winds. We're in the 60s and 70s in the Yakima and Kittitas Valley. Moving into the Columbia Basin, we'll have those breezy winds here most of the day. You'll feel them in the morning. Temperatures in the upper 70s and low uh, low 80s for most of the area. Looking towards foothills of the blues, not even going to make it up to 80 degrees with strong gusty winds. Future cast winds, this is when we're going to see those really start to begin. You'll start to feel those breezy winds here in the Columbia Basin tomorrow as the day progresses. Look at that. We'll see 30 mile an hour or so gusts through the region dying down slightly and then we'll see another pickup on Wednesday afternoon as that next front moves through the area. So strong gusty winds is what we're dealing with and maybe some sniffles out there. Our pollen counts are medium high, a little bit on the high mark there today, decreasing as we get through the week. Uh, we've got slight chances of rain in Walla Walla on Tuesday. Here's your seven day planning forecast. Again, those gusty winds temperatures going from 76 Tuesday down to 68 and as we get towards the weekend, we'll be back to the 80s. Tri-Cities 83 with uh, clearing skies as we get to the middle of the week. Temperatures back to the 80s next weekend. Walla Walla breezy to gusty winds the next couple of days. Temperatures back to the 80s on Saturday and in Hermiston. Not too bad out there, but clearing skies and warmer temperatures beginning Friday and Saturday. Lots more to talk about, including your weather photo of the day. That's coming up here in just a few minutes. Austin, Alyssa. All right, Stacey, thank you. Still ahead here at 5 o'clock, we are breaking down new numbers about what makes Gen Z happy. And it's not necessarily something you're going to have to find in a phone. The awesome Hiawatha Trail. Fly the Northwest, Tuesday night at 6. Walla Walla Regional Airport, the gateway to your next vacation. As spring and summer travels approach, plan your flights through Walla Walla Airport. We offer free parking and we have two Alaska flights to Seattle daily, making your travel easy and convenient. Take the time off, explore the world and create memories that will last a lifetime. Walla Walla Airport, your connection to your next vacation. Book today. AlaskaAir.com, your destination awaits. Car wreck. I'm here to help you. His caring and supportive nature created a bond and he shares that with every client he has. Stacy always says really good things about me. I got T-boned at an intersection. Ended up having a back injury. Mariano got me about 50 times more than I thought I was gonna get. I did my best and she got way more than she expected. Can't thank Mariano enough. I mean, he just, he is the guy. Call 853-2222. Honda you want is here. Drive in the moment with the rugged and capable Ridgeline, Passport, and Pilot. Find your adventure with great offers now available on the Honda you want. All from the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value Brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. Everybody in the Tri-Cities has been to a Hubby's Pizza Party, right? You haven't? Acquire the Hubby's Habit and book your party today. Delicious, mouth-watering food made with only the freshest ingredients. It's party time at Hubby's Pizza, a hometown favorite for nearly 45 years. Book your party today. Every year, more people are diagnosed with skin cancer in the U.S. than all other cancers combined. Get facts about skin cancer at applevalleynewsnow.com. Skin cancer prevention and screening available at Prosser Memorial Health. Visit prosserhealth.org. Welcome to Premier Woodworks, your premier source for custom cabinetry and full-service interior design. Our custom designs are brought to life with 3D images to help you visualize the final result. 
Our high quality cabinetry is crafted with care and attention to detail. From kitchen and bath design to remodel project management, we're here to make your dream space a reality. Premier Woodworks, located at 109 North Washington Street in Kennewick. Welcome back. Gen Z is coming of age. Now, this group is mostly people born around the turn of the millennium and a few years after. New research shows they seem to have a pretty good grasp on what they need to be happy. It's not money or status. ABC's Perry Russum explains. People have been searching high and low for the key to happiness for ages. A new Gallup poll has revealed a primary source of happiness among Gen Z. Gen Z are people born between 1997 and 2012. In the poll, a group of Gen Z were asked how happy they are, among other questions. There were clear patterns in their responses regarding what factors may have contributed to their happiness. Number one, feeling purpose at work and school. Number two, finding time to catch sleep and relaxing. Number three, limiting how much they compare themselves to others. Number four, feeling supported by friends and family. So sleep, social support, less comparisons, and finding your purpose are a few keys to happiness, according to Gen Z. I'm Perry Russum. The kids are all right. I guess so. <laughs> all right, one thing that makes me happy is the nice weather. We're going to be right back with a final check on your forecast next. Honoring men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice. When you crave it all, crunchy, meaty, cheesy goodness, jam-packed and wrapped up, ready to go, Taco Time's Tostada Wrap. Satisfaction never tasted so good. When you know what you want, any time is taco time. Honda you want is here. Driving the moment with the rugged and capable Ridgeline, Passport, and Pilot. Find your adventure with great offers now available on the Honda you want. All from the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value Brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. Checking. Open yours today at any Yakima Federal Savings and Loan. It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best in class standard torque. And Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. Do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. Get 1.9% financing on all 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. Or get 57.50 total value on this Silverado when you trade in an eligible vehicle. That's 10% below MSRP. See your community Chevy dealers. Take advantage of the tax credits you can, including the annual Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. You can get money back on state taxes already paid. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DUE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. This is the all-new Tempur-Pedic Adapt Mattress, and we designed it to help make aches and pains a thing of the past. Because our most advanced, infinitely adaptable temper material eases your pressure points inch by inch and molecule by molecule in a way no other mattress can. All night, every night. Save up to $500 on select Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets and get a $300 gift. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Tempur-Pedic. When you crave it all, crunchy, meaty, cheesy goodness, jam-packed and wrapped up, ready to go, Taco Time's Tostada Wrap. Satisfaction never tasted so good. When you know what you want, anytime is taco time. 
Welcome back. We're taking one final check on your forecast. Well, at least we had yesterday and today mm -hmm. is nice. Saturday, too windy, you know, right? But mm -hmm. let's take a look at weather photo. This one got sent in by Alan Rither at the Memorial in <laughs> Richland today. Look at all the flags and yes. a nice crowd out there enjoying the sunshine and uh, that nice ceremony. So good stuff. Thanks for sending that in, Alan. Uh, if you'd like to submit your photo, just go with your smartphone right up there to the right side of your screen. Grab that QR code and submit your weather photos. We'd love to see them. All right. Right, let's take a look at our planner for tomorrow. Not too bad out the door. We're already at 60 degrees and uh, most of our areas right there at eight o'clock. So not bad for the kids at the bus stop. You're going to be starting to peel those layers off by midday though. Look at that close to 80 degrees in the Tri Cities uh, and then we'll see things cooling down now a few degrees cooler tomorrow then the big cool down on Wednesday and then warming back up by the weekend. So I just can't adjust to this. It's Stacey. the weather, you yes. know, temperatures <laughs> keep doing this. So <laughs> there you go. All right. We're trusting you to keep, up, keep us on top of it, Stacey. That's right. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. World News Tonight with David Muir is next.